Tom Brady, the quarterback of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, just entered his 22nd season in the NFL. At 44 years old, he has won nine AFC championships, he has six Super Bowl rings, and he's still pretty much dominating the quarterback game in the NFL. In addition to that, Tom Brady has figured out a way to create longevity throughout his NFL career and his personal brand. So the question is, how can classical musicians learn from an NFL quarterback? I'm gonna try comparing apples and oranges in today's video, so stick around to the end. If we're meeting for the first time, my name is Eric. I'm the host of The Violin Podcast. I'm a violinist and content creator. If you haven't done so already, please make sure to hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification, so that way you get notified for when new videos come out. It also helps me out as a content creator to provide more videos for you. Today I'm gonna to talk about three things that classical musicians can learn from Tom Brady. The first thing I wanna say is that you have to be excellent in your craft. In order to create buzz and attention from everybody else around the world, you need to be excellent in what you do. For Tom Brady is winning football games, you know? He practices day in and day out to be able to win football games. So for Tom Brady to keep everybody's attention is to play high quality football at, in the NFL and win games. It's binary, either you win or either you lose. For musicians, it's a little bit different because there's a little bit more subjectivity inside uh, the world of music. But if I were to say, if there's a comparison into the binary with, uh, with the NFL and American football, I would say that with music, music and musicians, there, there needs to be a level of conviction. And once you've won the audience over, then you have uh, opportunities for music agencies, you know, really good critic reviews, and you, know, you just get invited to perform at these major concert halls again. Secondly, a very impressive thing about Tom Brady is that he gets better as he gets older. The average career span for an NFL quarterback is 4.4 years. This is his 22nd season in the NFL. He spent 20 seasons with the New England Patriots and now he's in his second season with the Buccaneers. Like, he's doing something right and actually he's doing it his own way with his own TB12 method. The equivalent to that for musicians is the Alexander Technique. You know, as we continue to practice as we get older, we're using very subtle joints and we're using actually micro uh, muscle groups as opposed to like an NFL player. With the NFL, you're using big muscle groups for you to be able to tackle, for you to be able to throw the ball. You're using very big motions. With the violin, you know, for me as a violinist, I'm using like, this much. <laughs> and we have to make sure that we take care of this tiny little joint. You know, these little joints are very important for musicians such as myself. How can we as musicians take better care of ourselves as we get older to prevent injury? It's all about preventative care. And once you understand your body, and once you understand that you have to create a system that works around yourself, for preventative care, you're going to have longevity in your career because you're going to be playing more, you'll be getting paid more for what you do, which is obviously, you know, a, a huge plus. For musicians, it could be the Alexander Technique. You know, the Alexander Technique focuses on you. You know, it really specifies the individuality of a person and how the body will work for you. Something that may work for me may not work for you. And I think that's really cool about Alexander Technique. And I recommend, if you haven't heard about Alexander Technique, I recommend you do your research, try to find an Alexander Technician in your area to get to the root of the problem if you're experiencing any pain or you're feeling fatigue while you play your instrument because that's something that Tom Brady does so well. He is efficient with his body. He's efficient during the game. He doesn't make any movements that he doesn't have to when he's in the game. So yes, take care of yourself. I think that's really important for all athletes watching this video and for musicians. And leave a comment down below. Are musicians athletes? Or can they be in the same category or are they like, their own thing. Let me know in the comment section down below. If you're enjoying this video so far, it would mean the world to me if you hit the like button because that triggers the algorithm for people to watch this video. Last but not least, the third thing that classical musicians can learn from Tom Brady is that Tom Brady is a brand. The name Tom Brady is a brand. He's a business man. You know that famous Jay-Z quote that he's not a businessman, but he is a business man. That's something that as classical musicians, we often don't know how to promote ourselves. I think right now it's getting um, a little easier for self-promotion with the, with the rise of social media like Facebook, Instagram, TikTok for organic reach. But I think it is important for us to think about ourselves as a brand. You are a walking business. Tom Brady was able to get a fan base. He was able to create a community around his brand 
Tom Brady for being an excellent football player, for having the mental toughness that he has for the game of football, but he was strategic in how he approached the businesses. He has a TB12 method that he has shared his li uh, lifelong knowledge by working with specialists and trainers to be more efficient with your body in everyday um, everyday tasks and also in sports. And he used that knowledge and he sold that knowledge for a business. And he gained the trust of people around the world because he is able to play in the NFL for 22 seasons. He's doing something right. So obviously he has something to say. He has a lot of things to share. But that doesn't mean that musicians can't do the same. You know, for us as classical musicians, it's performance. You know, we're always auditioning for the next orchestra audition or we're always auditioning and preparing for the next competition. But that doesn't necessarily need to be the case. You can compose music, you can sell music, you can do arrangements, you can do all sorts of things like re recording sessions. And those are just a sample of things that I just described, but there may be things that you know how to do outside of the classical music world that you can play. Like I had a very interesting um, recording session when I had to play a B half flat, you know, for all you musicians out there, you know, that's wild, right? For an Arab music, when I played the Macam in a recording session, that's a whole nother story for a different time. But that's what I want to say is that you have the ability to kind of expand your, your, your knowledge. So that way you are more marketable as a business. So that way people can hire you, people can purchase your products and more. Let me know in the comment section what you think of this video. You know, I try to compare apples and oranges and I don't know if there's a video out there that compared classical music to Tom Brady, but I felt like this was an interesting topic for me. And uh, let me know if you liked this video and if you like more of these videos on the channel. Again, my name is Eric. I'm the host of the Violin Podcast. Thank you so much again for watching this video. If you liked the video, hit the like button. And if you want to subscribe for more content like this, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notifications, so that way you get notified for when new videos come out. It helps me out as a content creator to provide more videos for you. Thanks so much, and I'll see you in the next one.